Hi, I'm Tillin from HD Anywhere. I'm going to show you how U-Control is configured and works. To start off, we have an 8x8 M-Hub 4K Pro and two source devices attached to it, a Sky HD box and an Apple TV. And on this screen over here, we have M-Hub's operating system, which we're calling Dash. The first thing that we're going to do is give everything a unique name that you can refer to. So to do that, we go to our settings, and our settings here. Um, we then locate the first input. I know that the first input connected to the M Hub is Sky HD. Um, and we're going to install um, an item of form. Output A is HDA Lab 3. That's the room that we're in. And I'm just going to go and save that. So that's saved. The next thing we're going to do is download a control pack from HDA Cloud. So the first port that I want to target is input 1, which I've just named to Sky HD. Um, I'm going to be asked devices we have available um, and from the list you can see there's TVs, projectors, AVRs, satellite cable, media players, Blu-ray, DVDs, games consoles and CDC TV systems. We're going to click on the satellite cable, it's going to filter that list down, Sky HD is the one that we want and we're going to click download commands. That's now connecting with the cloud and it's picking the most appropriate pack for me to test. Now it's asking me to test the command. It's asking me to position um, or set the skybox up uh, with the transmitter in the line of sight with the IR window. Uh, and it wants me to test the down arrow. I'm going to test it. I can confirm that it's worked. And now it wants me to test the guide. I click that. And now it's asking me to confirm if both commands worked. Yes, they did. Okay, that's perfect. So the second one we're going to install is the pack for Apple TV. Now we go back to the label that I renamed to Apple TV. I'm going to select uh, Media Player because that's what it is. And we're going to select Apple TV and go download commands. Same process again, just to demonstrate how quick it is. It's going to ask me to um, test the command, down arrow. I'm just checking, yep, that worked. Up arrow. It's fine. That works as well. Okay. And that's it. That's you control on dash complete. So, onto the app. The next thing that we're going to do is load up U-Control. And it's going to give us two options, whether or not we want to start our search or connect to it manually. We're going to do uh, a search. Pretty instantly, we'll find all the M-Hubs that are on your network. In this case, it's found two, a 4x4 system and an 8x8. We were demoing on the 8x8, so that's the system that we're going to connect to. Now, it's pairing with that M-Hub Pro system. It usually takes about four or five seconds, but whilst it's doing this, it's pulling all the data from mHub and putting it into U Control ready to use. As you can see, it's ready, the setup is complete. And now we're into the Sky HD interface. I'm just going to move over to the gesture control area. And if you can see in the background, I'm just going to move to the right. I'm going to move to the right again. And once more, I'm going to hit the back button and back up again. I'm going to switch to Apple TV. That should load up Apple TV. Notice that the interface has changed. I can scroll along the Apple TV interface. Scroll up. Hit the menu button. Tap to enter. I can scroll back to Sky HD. Bear in mind that we're also in HDA Lab 3, which I named earlier. I just switch back to Sky. And the last thing is I can also control the display. So I should be able to turn the display off. Turn off the display in HDA Lab 3. And off it goes. That's you controlled by HDA anywhere.